Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing just great out there. So as you know, previously we started um, history of broadcast journalism in Pakistan and today uh, we'll uh, discuss radio production process. Uh, in this module, we are going to discuss television and radio because this module deals with um, broadcast journalism. So let's uh, discuss radio production process. As you know, radio is an important uh, tool in uh, electronic journalism or the broadcast journalism. So uh, <clears throat> we'll discuss uh, general approach, common pitfalls, strategies, and uh, feasibility needs. So producing a show, what you need. Uh, first, you need to pick up a, a topic um, about any issue and the issue that matters to you most, then you need to develop a script for your radio program. Uh, when you are developing script, you need to think about the relevance of uh, the topic. Uh, you need to talk to the people in order to conduct basic research on your topic, involve the community because you are producing program for community. So you need to involve the community how you are going to involve them. You can invite them in your program or in your documentary or in your report. Make it interesting, record it, edit it, jazz it up. That means give it uh, some music, export and air it. And then uh, last but not the least, archive your program. So uh, most station will have mixing desk, microphone or headphones, portable recording devices, computer or library management software, cassettes or um, uh, digital uh, CD players, etc., etc. So these are some basic elements you will find in every radio station. Obviously, I will uh, show you a video as well about uh, a radio station and you will see that how a radio station works. So some of the basic components of the show, intro and outro. Intro is basically when you introduce your program. So that is called the intro. Then comes the primary content of your program. Public service announcements are very much important and they are part of your radio transmission and your radio programs. Commercials, commercials are the radio spots and uh, it, uh, they usually pay uh, your salary as well. So commercials are again very much important. And another element is music. Um, that is also very important, blurbs and call-ins. Call-ins when uh, your uh, audience call your radio station. So we divide production into three phases, uh, pre-production, production, and post-production. So production planning process is called the pre-production. Uh, to produce is to create something, especially uh, when skill is needed. Content creation, content generation is uh, basically part of the production. And the production process is basically uh, the process of creating something, film, drama, documentary, musical, uh, with skill and knowledge. Producer is the person who produces uh, that production or that program, who's in charge of that program. He's captain of the ship, team leader, and program. Program is basically a plan of things that will be done or include in the development of something. Something that people watch on TV or listen to on radio is called a program. Format. Format is the general arrangement plan or design of the program. It is called the basic structure of a program and that's why we call it format. For instance, there are many formats we see in radio and television, but because we are talking about radio right now, so we'll mostly discuss the radio format. News is a format, talk shows, feature, drama, magazine program, stage show, musicals, etc., etc. There is a um, a comprehensive lecture on formats in my uh, news reporting and uh, television production course that is a separate lecture but this is the basic introduction to format so what format is you need to understand that format is basically the general arrangement of any program that is called format role of a producer so producers role in the process of production is to conceive number one conceive the idea number two plan that idea and then execute that idea. 
so these are the three basic duties of the producer. As I told you, the producer is the captain of the ship and his team leader. To conceive means to think of an idea. Uh, the idea is actually a concept. Uh, all the programs, they always start with a concept. To plan is to make detailed arrangements for the idea you wish to materialize in the future. Ideas. Oh, this is a difficult question. Where ideas come from? Ideas can come anytime from anywhere in this world. So um, the important areas where ideas can be obtained from are these, like society. Ideas are around us everywhere, whether you are driving, traveling, eating your meal in a hotel or in a restaurant, meeting a friend, going out to buy your groceries. So you can get idea from anywhere. So a good producer always on a hunt. He's always looking for ideas. Social conflicts give you really good ideas like forced marriages, child abuse, corruption, uh, etc., etc. Government policies, they can give you great ideas for your program. Art and literature, science. So you can get idea from um, anywhere. So there are some basic principles of program planning. So motive of the program. You need to ask yourself why you are producing this program. Do you need to produce this program? Um, whether this program will contribute something to society? So you need to ask such kind of question. So the first and the foremost thing that a producer has to keep forth be before producing a program is to face the most important question and that is, why this program, why I'm producing it, which means what is the purpose of this program that you want to produce. So let's brainstorm on this possible purpose or motives which make a producer conceive a program uh, to create awareness amongst the listeners about social problems like traffic laws, hazards of narcotics, needs of education, the law, rights and responsibilities, diseases, health system, sanitation system, et cetera, et cetera. There could be a million of motives. To give information about government policies, new inventions, advancements in medicines, new techniques in agriculture, sports, et cetera, et cetera. Or to educate the modern methods of sowing, plowing, harvesting, civic virtues, et cetera, et cetera. Or to entertain music, comedy, drama, showbiz, fashion, et cetera. So in that way, uh, you know, initially in this uh, course, we talked about the basic purposes of uh, a journalist or journalism are to inform, educate, and entertainment. So basically, these are your core purposes. Either you are informing your audiences or you are educating them or you are entertaining them. So when you have an idea, you need to research uh, for your target audience. What is target audience? It means who the program is to produce be produced for the target audience. The research of the target audience is very important step in pre-production process. Unless a producer does not know exactly the nature, desires and needs of the target audience, the effective message cannot be written. The effective program cannot be produced if you do not know your target audience. So you need to understand your target audience. So while conducting research of your target audience, following areas are to be mm, focused upon or they are very important. The age group of your target audience, whether your program will deal with youth or kids or adults or old age people, the gender, you are producing program for women or men or both. Let's say you are uh, producing um, an awareness campaign or a program on breast cancer. So obviously um, that program mostly deals with women. Then uh, socio-cultural background. Your audience is rural, urban, middle class, elite class, uh, lower middle class. So what is their socio-cultural background? That is again very much important because if you are producing program for a rural audience, that program will be different compared to a program that is for the urban audience. A program that is for, especially that is for middle class, 
that will be entirely different compared to the program that is produced for upper middle class or elite class. Content of the program. Again, the very next question is, what is to be given in the program? It signifies the content or the matter of the program. Whether your program will be political or it will be social or religious. So uh, selection of the format. So now you have decided you are going to pr produce a program for uh, women. Uh, it will be social. Uh, it will be uh, in health sector. So a producer has to select a format which he thinks will be suitable to convey the message of the program. So the fo following are some important formats. Talk, feature, drama, documentary, magazine program, and interview. So let's say uh, we are making a program on uh, health issues. Let's say asthma. Uh, so probably a talk with a doctor will be uh, a great format or an interview with a doctor or a documentary or a magazine program. So it depends uh, what type of format you're going to adopt. Again, duration of the program is very much important in radio because uh, radio is a medium uh, with sound only. You do not have pictures. So the duration plays a vital uh, and effective uh, role in program. While making a program, a producer must note that the final duration of the program must be 30 to 40 seconds less than the actual duration. So that after the end of the program, the announcer may have sufficient time to make the announcement of the upcoming program. <clears throat> Let's say a five minutes program will be four minutes and 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, 15 minutes program will be 14 minutes and 20 or 30 seconds. Similarly, 30 minutes program will be 29 minutes and 20 or 30 seconds. So in that way, you actually, uh, you give sufficient time for announcer to announce for the next program. Time of the broadcast or the frequency is very much important. Another important uh, thing is at what time your program will go on air. It depends on the following points. The nature of the program, availability of the target audience. So uh, let's say um, uh, your target audience is working class. So you are broadcasting your program at 11 a.m. in the morning. So most of the, your target audience, a member of your target audience, they will be on their jobs or on their work. So that, that means they won't be able to listen to your program. So uh, that's why target audience is very much important. You need to understand them that what they do, what type of their job is, what is their social status, when they listen to radio program or when they watch your television screen. Frequency of the program. Frequency of program means that how often a program should go on air, whether once a week or twice a week or alternative days or on daily basis. So all these uh, points are very important in order to make a good program. So um, this was introductory lecture to radio. Uh, so next time when we'll talk, uh, we'll uh, talk on uh, structure of a radio station that how a radio station works. So with this uh, PowerPoint, I will upload a video as well. Uh, you just need to watch that video and it will actually enlighten you up about uh, the pro program production process in uh, radio. So for now, I'll call it a day. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe. Take care. Have fun. Allah Hafiz.